Hey guys, today I will show you how to set up Selixta on Rocknerd VPS and create a WordPress website in it. Selixta is an optimized Nynx web server designed for WordPress and this is actually open source and there are a few steps you need to follow uh, to install Selixta on Rocknerd. And let's get started. Let's go to our uh, VPS. So if you don't know how to set up Rocknerd VPS, I will put a link on the description down below so that you can set up your own Rocknerd VPS. I'll just take a quick uh, setup for Rocknerd. So just go to Rocknerd, click KVM VPS. You then need to select your preferred um, plan. You can start with 2 gigabyte of RAM because 1 gigabyte of RAM is not that quite fast and we need at least 2 gigabyte of RAM to install Slick Stack. And just click order now and you just uh, choose your uh, preferred uh, data center. Choose the nearest location or choose uh, the play, uh, location nearest to your audience. You can use um, Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and uh, you can choose Los Angeles and that's it. Just click continue and you will be guided to your uh, server setup. Don't worry, it will just take a few minutes to set up your uh, Rocknard VPS. And of course, you need to have a domain. Uh, I can vouch for Namecheap. We will be using Namecheap in this tutorial. And of course, a free, free Cloudflare account. And we will set up our Cloudflare later on. Okay, first, we need to log into our server using an SSH client. We will be using Bitvice. It's free. Just run Bitvice, put your server IP address here, and port uh, 22. Uh, we'll be using root, and we'll just click login. Just click accept and save. We'll paste our password here, and just click new terminal console. Before anything else, we will set up our Cloudflare. Let's go to Cloudflare. Just click login here and just click add site add your site here click continue just choose free and click continue okay we will need to wait at least 24 hours but in a few hours we will see if uh, the DNS has already propagated and we'll just click continue here and we'll go to our name chip we will manage our domain choose custom DNS and use these name servers and then click to copy here paste it here and also the second name server it will be here and of course just click save and we'll wait another 24 hours at least so that these name servers will be uh, propagated we'll go back to cloudflare and we'll just click continue here we'll just finish this one later and we'll wait okay let's check our dns and of course uh, we just need to wait again So okay, now we have our DNS propagated. Let's go to SSL and TLS. Be sure to choose full. Next, we'll go to DNS, go to settings. We will enable, of course, DNSSEC. And this one, I have already added my DNSSEC. And I want you to see how I did it 
So let's go to our domain. Let's go to advanced DNS. And of course, you need to enable status. So just click this one. Let's go back to Cloudflare. First, we'll go to key tag. Where is key tag? Okay, and we'll just click here to copy. Paste it here. So algorithm, we'll be using 13. Let's go for 13. And our digest type is S A S H A two five six, so it will be type two. Okay, this one and our digest is this one, so I'll just click copy, paste it here, and just click save changes. And it will take at least an hour for this to take into effect. Let's go to overview. Now let's wait for at least an hour for this DNSSEC uh, to take into effect. Okay, now let's install Slick Stack, but before that, we will upgrade our server. So let's do update. Okay, let's go. Let's upgrade. Okay, we have finished upgrading our server. Okay, we will install Slick Stack. Let's scroll down. I will put a link on the description down below so that you can follow this blog. And okay, let's scroll down. And we will just copy this command, copy this one and paste it here. Cancer. We'll just wait for a few seconds. You can use uh, any username you want. And I'll just use the default um, username. And I'll just use this password. And if this is only for advanced users. If you know how to use SSH, SSH keys, you can turn this to true. But if not, you just uh, use false and use the root uh, login instead. And we'll just click false, enter. You can also use another username like Loki, Thor, or anything. I'll just choose Robin. And this is uh, it's SF SFTP password. And take note, this is your uh, WordPress admin login as well. Enter only one word uh, CMS WordPress. Use English and true. We'll just leave this one blank. We'll not be using remote database. So false. We will use adminer, true, and we'll just enable uh, uh, disable so, so false. You can use other name, database name, other than production. So I will just I'll be just using production. You can create your own, and uh, we'll use non root. And this one, we'll just enter the local host. The port is 3306. We will use the default table prefix. And uh, this one, because our domain is webshanks.store, we will be using store because this is our TLD. So if you have .com, you will use, you will answer that, uh, you, you will answer com or org, you will answer org, but you will, I am using that store, so that will be store. And webshanks, that store, answer. And if you don't want your WordPress website on the internet, you will turn this to true, true, but 
but we will not be using no index so our wordpress website will appear on search engines like google so it will be false if you don't want uh if you want rather uh multiple wordpress websites you will just turn this to true but i'm just using one so it's false it will enable our subdomain so true for now we will not be using a uh, staging site if you want to use staging a staging site you turn this to true but uh, i will not be using in this tutorial okay false 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 okay we'll just put this as a guest and we'll just use the password given and oh, i ha don't have any re remote okay we will just highlight this one so that we will copy and store this on a safe place paste it on a notepad and we will wait until the installation uh, is finished okay now we have successfully created a wordpress website on slick stack and now we'll access our website we will not be using wp login we will be using uh, wp admin and this highlight this one and it will automatically paste let's log in okay okay we will log in using our let's scroll back we will use our ftp this one as our admin account and our sftp password as our admin password for our wordpress website okay great now we have successfully created a wordpress website in slick stack so now you can create your wordpress website you can use new theme and install plugins create post and uh, customize your wordpress website let's activate this 2024 okay we'll visit our wordpress website okay, great so this is how you will create a wordpress website using slick stack and open source links optimized for wordpress so this is just a few a minutes uh, to install slick stack so you might want to use this one instead of cpanel and now you have created your wordpress website and that's it that's how you will create the wordpress website in slick stack and if you have any questions just comment them on the section uh, comment section down below and i'll try to answer them all as always thank you all for watching and please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you all for watching and i'll see you on my next video